So we're at the site and uh, I had to go ahead and get some things done. I wish I would have filmed them, but um, I'm a little behind <laughs> just for making these videos, but just want to show you real quick. Can't really see it that well. It's a little too dark, but um, I put the, uh, the blocks of wood under there to hold the trailer up. And then I put these stabilizers down right here as well. So I use a drill and it doesn't take any time to really put those down and level out the trailer. Um, I put my trash can out here for the customers, pastry menu, also our coffee sign. And as you can hear these generators going, right over here, I got my lights on out here. And now I'll take you inside and show you the press. I wanted to show you guys our, our POS system. Uh, we're using Shopkeep, and uh, here's how it looks. So I have my coffee drinks, ice drinks, teas, specialty drinks, pastries, and then this miscellaneous items right here. Uh, I'm hooked up to uh, an Epson thermal printer for receipts, and then I have my chip reader right here, which is uh, totally Bluetooth, and this is also Bluetooth as well. And so um, the only bummer about this setup is my cash drawer. So I have to put a key in it and open it every time I do a cash sale, which is no big deal. I mean, it's as simple as just doing that and closing it. Um, but it did work for like an hour <laughs> and then it stopped working. Uh, it's not, uh, I mean, that name brand right there, it's not anything big time. So um, we didn't spend, but I think like 60 bucks on it. Um, so anyway, this, this is the setup. And then I switched between this app right here and a Deco, which is our mobile um, ordering app. And so if I click out of here, um, so my orders will come up through here in the order queue. Uh, it's not open right now. Uh, I open in about uh, actually five minutes or so. And uh, when an order comes in, it looks like this. So uh, this person got a smoked maple bourbon latte, 12 ounce. And then uh, as soon as it's complete, I'll hit complete right there. And that's it. So highly recommend this app uh, if you're gonna do mobile orders. Uh, and so now what we'll do is we'll open up the trailer and start serving customers. All right, so I uh, wanted to show you guys, you know, when I'm serving customers, but it's kind of hard to do that because uh, this phone is actually controlling the speakers outside, and so I have to play the music and everything. So the music is more important to me than filming video while a customer is up here. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to kind of show you, I'm in between customers right now uh, with uh, mobile orders and everything. So I have cleaned the station pretty uh, thoroughly. Uh, if I can give one word of advice, clean your station or your bar uh, between customers if you have um, you know about five minutes or so uh, it's hard for when you uh, have back to back people and trust me I've been there and it's hard to clean but just even that just say uh, try to stay um, organized with everything because people do look in and as you can see out here so people are looking in and they're seeing everything back here usually at a coffee shop the espresso machine is gonna be on this side with the back of it facing the customer and so I'd be preparing the drinks right here, but just with this design and setup, I wanted everything to be on this back uh, bar right here, just so, just from a visual standpoint. So I have to be uh, extra clean in um, making sure I do that. So um, yeah, so it's been going well this morning to, again, it's two hour shift. We've done about 20 transactions so far. It's pretty typical for a January uh, day because it's pretty cold and everything. Uh, so now what I want to do is kind of want to show you uh, how I make a drink here on this espresso machine. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to pull a shot. We're going to make a cappuccino right now. So I tried filming with me uh, grinding the coffee and tamping and everything, but with one hand, that's not easy to do. So I went ahead and tamped it, and I got to 17.6, uh, 17.5 is what we want. And we want about anywhere between about 26 to 28 seconds out uh, for this coffee that we have. So place it up here. Let's get my two cups right here. And uh, this is auto volumetric so I have this button set right here. So this coffee that we're using. So coming up here we're gonna see about 14, 16 seconds right now. Looking good, good crema. So 26 seconds is pretty good. It's the lower end of the range. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and just grab one of my cappuccino cups. And that was an order coming in, so I need to hurry up. All right, so I'm gonna put both, both shots in here. So we do two shots with every drink that we do. So now let me steam milk and pour some latte art for you. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll uh, steam the milk for this cappuccino. And this is an eight ounce cappuccino, so about uh, six ounces of milk in here, two ounces of coffee in the cup. Still when it gets really hot. Hopefully y'all can see this. Get all the bubbles out of here. Just trying to look on camera. All right, so I'll mix in the milk. And then just kind of go for it. Now you got yourself uh, a nice tulip. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Sorry for the vibration. That's the generators outside. So. Uh, that's how we uh, do a drink here. All right, so now that we're uh, closed up, we, we did uh, pretty well today. For two hours, we did about 25 to 28 transactions, which is pretty good for a January morning that was like 28 degrees, so it's pretty cold. Um, so what, what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm just gonna kinda tell you what we do to clean up. So basically, um, we clean up the whole bar, uh, make sure all the coffee grounds are off, uh, the espresso machine is clean. Um, I even get the coffee grounds in the, uh, the porta filter or in the head of the machine. And uh, then what we'll do is just um, just wipe down everything. I'll uh, mop the floors, I'll, uh, we'll sweep and then mop the floors, get all the trash out, put new trash bags in. I'll go ahead and restock everything that I have uh, in here. And sometimes I'll need to go back uh, just to get more inventory at the house and everything. Um, but now I'm just gonna set the camera down just so you can kind of watch me close up. So I'm all closed up now, cleaned up, so we are good to go. I'm just doing one final walkthrough, making sure everything is good. Got my soaps down the sink so they don't fall away. Um, going down the line here, uh, making sure everything is tied down nicely. The things that need to be tied down, like this grinder right here is tied down, good to go. Um, pastry case right there, that thing's not gonna, uh, gonna go anywhere unless I turn super hard, which I'm not going to. Uh, so I restocked a little bit, put some more lids in, put some more cups in for our next shift and everything. So everything is spick and span, uh, the floors are mopped, uh, the countertops are wiped down, so I am good to go for our next shift. Um, so before I leave um, a shift, I will clean up everything and make sure I'm good to go. I, I never want to take the trailer home uh, dirty uh, just because um, it's... I don't know, kind of like a peace thing. Like I like going home and knowing that everything is clean and good to go. Um, so now we'll go outside and take a look at that process of getting everything ready uh, to drive out of here. Now we're on the outside of the trailer and just wanted to show you how quick this was with the stabilizers. So I already released the other three. So I'm gonna take my drill. Go up all the way here and then boom, that's it. And then I'll go to this jack right here. get to where this thing is completely off the blocks right here. There we go. So I'll take the blocks out. Everything is connected. I always double check even when I'm leaving. I know these things didn't move, but you always want to triple check to make sure everything's good on the trailer because this trailer right here weighs about 7,000 pounds. So I don't want that to go anywhere. All right, so guys, that's it. That's the day in the life here uh, at JoJo's. Um, you saw last night, you saw this morning, you saw a little bit of what happened when we we're open and then uh, when we closed up. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the trailer to dump the water at the site, take it back home uh, and just unload some things. But just wanted to give you guys just a glimpse of what it's like to run a coffee trailer. So I would say probably about last night, we put in maybe 30 minutes of work. Uh, this morning before leaving, 
a, a, probably, probably about five minutes, five to seven minutes worth. Um, once I got here, um, it probably took me about uh, 30 to 45 minutes to open up. I can do it in 30 if I really rushed it, but it's about 45 minutes if your shots get dialed in correctly and everything. Uh, I was open for two hours, and then when I cleaned up, uh, about 30 minutes. I can get that down to 20 if I rush on that. So I uh, just want to give you guys an idea on how much time it takes and effort uh, to get this thing going. So it is a lot of work. Um, you, you will get tired, uh, but if you really enjoy this and, and you're really passionate about it, I really think you're going to, I mean, obviously you're going to like it if you're passionate about it. Uh, I've been doing it for six to seven months now and I'm still not tired of it. I love getting up early, um, even though I'm not a morning person. Uh, it's just, it's, it's great. So I uh, just want to encourage you guys with that. So shoot me your questions in the comments. Would love to answer them. And thank you guys for watching. Let's go. Let's go.